infinity, would you buy for me? Oh? When I make activity, would you come for me? Oh? Step into the light and let me see your face. See your face. Yeah, we're back again on Mommy's TV and it's trending with Terni and Aladdin. Trending. What we have, what we have trending? What we have trending? We have anything trending coming up? Okay, we are actually premiering this show at the Mommy's exclusive night, Friday, November 8th. So we want you all to come out and join us. We will be um, posting the information in the links below. Um, it will be at 701 East Pioneer Parkway, Arlington, Texas. So we want you all to come out, meet us in person, and have a good time. Yeah, and shout out to people that power this trending for us. Really appreciate you, Overcome Media. Shout out to Vacom Media. Shout out to Ayo Genesis. That is our new live band. Oh, yeah. Watch out yes. for Ayo Genesis awesome. on this program. It's coming soon. And we have uh, O Black. My, that's my guy, Olu mm-hmm. And thanks to Trending Makeover. Trending Touch Makeover. And we have Cameron Events. And we have uh, Morox Collection. Morox Collection is in Houston, Texas. And they're here in DFW, Dallas, Texas, too. And I have my sister, Mrs. Savage. These are the people that power this program. If you want to sponsor us, you can call the live. You can call our studio line, 817-717-5685. Or you can call me direct on my phone call, 317-760-7393. Before I go back to the program, to the topic, go and download Dixton's Radio on your Play Store so you can listen to us live. Apple, we are held there. So, Tani, Mommy's Exclusive Night, we're going to be the one hosting this show. Are you ready for that night? I'm ready. You're going to be the one... Killing it on the red carpet with Maji Moon, <laughs> America, right? I That's will. what we do. It's about Mommy Steve. It's about mothers. We uh, empower women. We do one empowerment. We do uh, social media marketing. We promote. We brand company. If you want to join yes. us, if you want to be part of this program, just call my number <laughs> or you WhatsApp me on three one seven seven six zero seven three nine three. I'm gonna pick it up and you're gonna talk to me live and direct. Before we go, we're a little bit to chip in into the next week topic. And our next week topic is going to be very, 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 very interesting. Let me give you a clue. I'm going to talk a little bit about <laughs> it before we go back on the music break. How long do you think it's okay to date after divorce? Because it's life. It, it happens. You know, who wants to be divorced? Nobody wants to be divorced, I'm sure. But it happens, and life goes on. So let's talk about okay, it. Okay, I'm sorry, Eva. I, I want to ask this question. <laughs> Don't take it past it Huh? So after your divorce, how long does it, does it take you to have another boyfriend? Uh, or do you have another boyfriend? I right don't. Now? I don't have a boyfriend. It's been um, six months, wow. and I think that's me personally. I think that's too soon. You know, being in a whole marriage, having a family, and moving on that soon for me. Like I said, everybody's different, but for me, I, I think six months is too soon. I'm not gonna say when. It's a definite time. I don't know. That's why this show is going to be good for me, too, because eventually I'll get back into the dating scene. It's many men who want to date me, but I'm like, no, not right now. But I don't know. We'll see what you think. Hmm. Uh, I think for me, divorce is something you've actually been planning in your mind. Mm-hmm. Nobody will wake up one day and say, I want to divorce and you divorce yeah. now. Maybe you know, have some issues going on with your, mm-hmm. with your, with your partner or it has been you know, digging in, you know. But we don't want to go back. We don't want, we don't want to switch from our topic today oh. to the next one. That's going to be the next topic <laughs> next week. How long is it going to take you, my brother looking at me right now, or my sister? Mm-hmm. How long is it going to take you to uh, to go back into another relationship after your divorce? But now we're talking about will you allow your wife or your husband to put their nude picture on the social media? But some people say if it is bringing money, that is cool. Like Tani was like saying... Mm, Okay, because of the money? I mean, it's not because of the money. It's just the fact that in some relationships, like I said, to be clear, I would not personally, but in some relationships, okay, if this person was doing it before, you know, as a career, you knew that. As a man, you knew what your soon-to-be wife was already doing. So, you know, it wouldn't be fair to say, okay, you have to stop now after you married. That should have been discussed and you shouldn't have married her. That's how some people feel and that's how, you know, I'm partial to it because, you know, I can understand that. As for me, I would not. You know, even if I was doing it before I was married, I have more, you know, I have respect for my husband. 
I wouldn't do it. But some women don't see it as respect and disrespect. Everybody's mind is different. They just see it as business. It's strictly business. Like some women, uh, some men don't mind their women being strippers. You know, they don't. They'll even go to the strip. Don't go to the strip club acting like their clients spray money on them because they know other men will do it too. Hmm. Yeah, you know. But other men will be like, I'm sure you'd be like, heck no. Hmm. (laughs) With your culture, what do you think? With my culture, (laughs) I won't lie to you. If you do that, you don't. You don't come back home because yeah, my mom is gonna call me. Hey, lady, I don't want to see your wife in that house anymore because that is what they know. Of course. You know that. That is what I'm saying. Uh. You people need to you need to you need to pay attention to our program because we have a program coming up that's going to talk about that. Yes. How African culture is affecting us in diaspora. Yes. You know, it's affecting and it's helping us either way. Mm-hmm. Because my own mind is always based on my own kids. I don't exactly. want I don't want to have a kids whereby that I, I won't be present out there like hey, this is my daughter or this is my son. So right. anything I'm doing right now at my age, I, I always try to maintain it. I don't want to yes. think about money, money, because I believe it's not by you working hard that give, that give you money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But let's switch to Kanye and, and, and Kim. Okay. You know, where they started, it's, everybody knows what Kim does, right? Right. I accept that. Mm-hmm. But now that we, they have, they, they, they invite some people to their awards, you know, they mm-hmm. are now they have kids, they have WIV, you know, this, no, what's the name of it? Kanye? Is it West? Oh, West, yeah. West they got like North. four kids. Northwest, Southwest, So these kids East are West. going every day. And if they keep seeing these pictures, they yeah. would think, oh, this is good for me. Yeah. You know, but my, like my brother that like, come from New York, New York City said, it doesn't matter. Like, this is America. This is, that is yes. a culture. Everybody do what they need to do it's to get what they want. But I always think more than that, you know, mm-hmm. because there's religion. Yeah, you know we should think about how, how will you, how will I say I'm a Christian and my wife is over there putting a picture, new pictures on the right. social media because we want to get money. You know, I believe by now I'm not blaming Kim. Uh, I'm not trying to tell Kim mm-hmm. to stop doing what she's doing, but <laughs> she needs to know that now she's rich. She get all the money. <laughs> yeah, she get all the contacts she need. By now she just lay back and do something else. That is what I, I, I even she's my sister. Right. That's what I would tell Kim. Hey, my sister, you know what? You need to live at chill. Just chill. You know, now you, you, have money, you have the money, you have everything. Chill. Now you're a family, you're a woman, yeah. you're a mother now. You, you shouldn't keep doing that. You know? I have a lot of people right here still watching us, and I really appreciate it. We have <laughs> Sheon Wisdom, Ogun Sonho. That's my OG. That's my OG. And I have uh, my mommy pastor from Indianapolis, uh, Mommy Florence, Omoy. <laughs> Um, um, that is my, my, that is my <laughs> pastor. That's oh, my pastor's pastor wife watching. in Indianapolis. Well, let me be good. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if my mom can call, if, if this is my mom, Florence Omoleye um, Balogun, can call <laughs> and advise us about this topic on 817-717-5685. I will appreciate it. And I have uh, Bali Keys, Okpe Yemi, and I have, I have Lawal, uh, Lawal Aditokpe, Suleyat, that's my whole G sister. And I have Rashid mm-hmm. Atonda. Uh, still here watching with me, Oshutoku from Canada, that's my brother. Mm-hmm. He said, I won't allow my wife to do such. Mm. But bro, what about if your wife is the one making all this money, paying all this bill, you are just chilling in the right. house, driving Maserati, you know, chilling, Bugatti. Will you allow her to stop making that money? Maybe he's going to reply on our DM. Maybe but before so. I go, let me give it to you. There's another music. That, that's been trending because what we are doing is trending. What we're talking about is mm. trending. You need to listen to this. Beauty, mama. You know I like you so. Hello. Hello, brother. How you doing? I'm doing good, my brother. Thanks for putting a call on us on this program. It's Mommy Stevie and it's trending. Where are you calling from, bro? I'm calling from Indianapolis. Wow. Thanks so much, my. I have a lot of fans in Indianapolis. Thanks so much. Do you? Uh, do you? Are you? Are you with us with the, with the topic? Or want to repeat the topic again? Hello. Hello, my bro. And what I just say is that, can you hear me? Yeah, clearly. Yeah, what I just want to say is that uh, uh, it depends, actually. If you are a showbiz person and your wife is a showbiz person, I think you 
we should expect that uh, there will be some times that your wife will love to, uh, you know, somehow be sexy in the way she dresses or she puts herself out there. It is actually what people want. That's, you know, a way to get people's attention sometimes to listen to what you're uh, advertising, maybe your music or any form of art that you're doing. You know, but if I'm not a showbiz person and I, I don't like uh, nudity or I don't know, huh. my wife. Ex yeah, sorry about the network right there, mm -hmm. but I can hear you clearly and I know your point. Like, mm -hmm. if my wife is into uh, entertainment business, <laughs> right? Yes, yes, exactly. If my wife, if that is what she do for a living. Wow. Thanks so much. As, um, as long as long as I can I can trust her. Mm. Trust. To down the trust. But what about the kids that see this picture every time and they know these kids are friends in school? Wow. The collision is very bad, my brother. I really appreciate this call. Like God bless you for calling it. Thank you. What do you say about that, Tan Tani? I mean, like you said, everybody is different. Um if it's showbiz, like I said, again, I would not do it. But everybody's different. Like, everybody has different morals, too. Hmm. You have to understand. And this is what I was trying to get my ex to understand is not everybody has the same morals as you. Hmm. You know, and I've learned to come to respect other people's morals as well. Now, are they someone who I would want in my circle? I would, you know, be able to make that decision if I wanted them around me or not. But I can still respect how they live their life, you know. So hmm. if that's what floats their boat and they're cool with it, cool. But obviously with Kim and Kanye, it's, you know, a little friction because now he's grown up. Hmm. You know, and he doesn't agree with it anymore. He knew who he married, but now the marriage has evolved. They have four kids, three or four kids or something like that. So now he's at a point where he doesn't agree anymore. So let me put it back on you. So if you knew who you married and you allowed it at first, yeah. and now y'all have, you know, three or four kids later, yeah. but she still insists on posting her sexy pictures, would that lead to divorce with you? Ah, to me, because I believe we, we life, we, we, what about grown, growth? You mm -hmm. know, we, 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 we are not, we are, life is not stable. Mm -hmm. We need to live the way life grows. You know what I mean? Like yeah. now, when we are married, we, she's single, I'm single, we don't have uh, kids, we don't have anything attached, we just have mm -hmm. our entertainment stuff. But now that we have kids, we are not family, mm -hmm. we have, you know, we have different things around us. We should look, we think about that. But well, I want my mm -hmm. wife to stop putting her <laughs> note on social media if she think. That is what it is. It's Mommy's TV, and I really appreciate everybody that stay here to watch Thank us. You. I have Olu Bayo. Bayo mm -hmm. is the uh, president of the Sluice Club in Indianapolis. Thanks so much. Mr. Osnokun said, I won't sacrifice my home, my joy, for money any day. Before we come back next week, the topic next week is, tell them. How long is it okay uh, to date after divorce? Yeah. How long will you stay yeah. in a divorce before you get another boyfriend? <laughs> Do I see you again? It's Mommy's TV. I'm about to do this. Gotcha. It's Young John, the wicked producer. Baby, mama. You know I like you so. If I'm to choose, girl, I choose you. If I'm to lose, girl, I won't.